Hi, I'm Barry Franklin. I serve as the Director of Preventive Cardiology and Cardiac Rehabilitation at Beaumont Health in Royal Oak, Michigan, as well as Professor of Internal Medicine at Oakland University Beaumont School of Medicine. The year 2021 is really pretty important to me. It actually has great significance in that it's the 50th year that I've been a member of the American College of Sports Medicine. I served as the pre president of ACSM from 1999 to 2000 and simultaneously served as the senior editor for ACSM's guidelines for graded exercise testing and prescription for the sixth edition. Some people say to do both, you gotta have your head examined. Anyway, I was asked for this 11th edition to write the preface for this 11th edition, which really pertains to the evolution of ACSM guidelines. The guidelines really started from a series of seminal papers written by people like P.O. Ostrand, Al Caddis, Lenore Zoman. These were key figures in exercise science and clinical medicine, and they wrote about the benefits of physical activity. Then a couple years later, in 1972, two ACSM members, Dr. Carl Stadefalk at Penn State University and Dr. John Faulkner at the University of Michigan, got together some key people around the country in the area of cardiac rehabilitation, and they decided ACSM really needs to put together national, international guidelines on exercise testing and prescription, and they recruited for that task, Dr. Sam Fox, uh, Bruno Balki, and Dr. Henry Miller. And in 1975, the first ACSM guidelines was published.